Hey guys, I'm going to answer an email here. Somebody's asking a question. They wanted to get a clarification about my Python 3 course. And this has to do with career advancement, uh, where you should put your effort in terms of your education to maximize your earnings, uh, maximize the chances of you landing a job, etc. So let's just jump into it. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by me. So if you want to learn Python, I have my popular Python Foundations courses. I actually have a package, Foundations and Career Paths. So you learn how to write Python code from the total beginning, assuming we know nothing about Python, and you go into building simple games and uh, writing Python programs, learning object-oriented programming with Python. It's all done within my interactive studio web platform, a unique platform where it's almost like having a personal tutor sitting beside you. With this video, I'm including a coupon which will give you 25% off. You'll see it in the description below. And this coupon will be good for several months. That's it. Back to the video. Greetings to you. I've been following your YouTube channel passively for a while and decided to take a deep dive into your videos today. I am currently considering your course on Python programming, but I would like to get your opinion if this is a good decision on my part. I am currently working as a system administrator supporting mostly Windows servers, and I would like to go into DevOps and or cybersecurity. My Linux skills is very terrible at the moment, so I am working on that, but I also know that I need to learn the fundamentals of programming in Python language for some advanced server automation scripting. One of the big use cases for Python, one of the areas where Python is used quite a bit, is in server automation, whether it be managing your typical web server, your typical, uh, just your file server, could be used in uh, rendering engines, it could be used, it's used all over the place. Python's uh, strength is, Python's strength is its flexibility of use. It's used all over the place. That's where it's at. Anyway, so um, yeah, with regards to Python, by the way, uh, I remember a friend of mine worked at a big, uh, well, medium-sized animation house, and he would be hiring Python programmers, well, scripters. They weren't writing Python programs. They were actually automating a very advanced set of server uh, farms that were controlled via Python scripts. So there was a constant need to update these Python scripts and to keep the system up and running so that they could render out their, their projects on time. And uh, so they weren't building apps. They were just writing Python code like, quite a bit, though. High-paid jobs, and he couldn't find anybody. He was having a terrible time finding people. Anyway, my goal is to take my career to another level and also to get good jobs in Canada as I soon as I will soon conclude my immigration processing. I am bilingual English and French and have some certifications. I have our network security, uh, exchange server, office, SQL server. I would really appreciate your response. I believe, generally speaking, coding should be a fundamental skill, reading, writing, communication skills, etc., financial skills that people should have as a general rule. Because besides the fact that you have a valuable skill set, it opens up your mind to all kinds of possibilities. It's huge. Uh, so, and people are starting to recognize, well, they pretty much recognize this around the world. So especially if you want to get into the tech area. So here's a guy who doesn't necessarily want to become a, a programmer. He wants to get into DevOps and stuff. But even if you get into that, you have to learn how to program. You have to learn about coding doesn't mean you have to become a full stack developer or a full developer, but you got to know your way around code, understand how it works and how to write, uh, how to write code. Python's a great choice because it's of its flexibility, no question about that. And especially in the environment in which he wants to work, yes, Python is the, the, the clutch language, as they say. So, yeah. You can't go wrong by learning to code. 
There's no question about that. It's worked out for me. I've been coding since the 1990s, and it has been always been a superpower in my back pocket, and that's why I teach it. If I didn't think it was a superpower, I wouldn't be teaching it. I would be teaching something else, or I would be doing something else. I've been an entrepreneur since I've been a young guy, and I've had all kinds of businesses outside of tech. Although I've done a lot of freelance work, I have my own software as a service, Studio Web. So I've been, I hire people, I've been hired as a freelancer, I've been hired as a contractor, I've done a whole bunch of different things, uh, except for work for other people full time. The last time I had a job working for somebody, I was a bouncer in a nightclub. But beyond that, uh, broad range. So my point of view here is that of somebody who has a broad set of skills and experiences. I don't talk about learning to code because I sell a code course in the sense that it's not it's not my primary primary motivation. Of all, I want people to buy my code courses, of course. I sell code courses because I believe in coding, because I know it has a tremendous positive impact, whether or not you become a full-time developer or become a DevOps expert, cybersecurity expert, or if you start a business, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It just is such an important skill to have. So uh, there you go. I hope you find this video useful.